that falls in the ilk of what some may call recreational mathematics. Um, now, we have, we have this absurd statement here, if 1 6 of 24 is equal to 3. Well, we know if 24 was base 10, this, this would be 4, right? So we have to look to another base. Now, if b is a, a natural number or a positive integer, the base b digits are 0, 1, 2, all the way up to, we'll write the customary ellipsis here, all the way up to b minus 1. And if you just think of base 10, if b is 10, b minus 1 is 9, right? And 9 is the last base 10 digit, right? So this is just generalizing the notion of a digit. Okay, so again, we know that 24 can't be base 10, so it's our task to find out uh, what base it is. Now, uh, and again, I just kind of repeat myself down here. Since 1 6 of 24 uh, base 10 is 4, we have to consider what the base would be to allow this to happen. So it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, 24 base B just means 2 times B uh, plus 4. If it was a three-digit number, it would be, uh, you would have B squared in here, okay? We, but we're just dealing with a, 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 a two-digit number. Now, this implies by inspection, you can see pretty quickly here that B has to be equal to 7. You need 18 divided by 6. So this would imply that B is equal to 7. Uh, very straightforward arithmetic there. B is equal to 7. And um, again, if you just go back to the original problem, you could you can see the mental math that would, you could have done right here. Uh, that's 3, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18, and 18 divided by 6 is 3, right? You could, I mean, do that in your head, but this is just slightly more formal, okay? So now we want to figure out what one-third of 51 is. That was the question. If, if this preposterous-looking statement is true, then what is one-third of 51? Okay, so uh, this, would, uh, this would be equal to uh, 5 times 7. You've got to kind of be careful about using the appropriate subscripts for the base here, but this is five times seven, right? We've just discovered that our base is seven, right? So this is five times seven uh, plus one. And I think this is kind of an important step here. This is equal to 36 uh, base 10, right? And let me, let me write this. This is, this is not quite accurate mathematics, but we'll write, th um, we'll live with this, okay? So, this is base 10, okay? So, you can see I'm not quite being perfect with the, with the equality symbols right here. I'm not saying one-third of 51 is equal to 36. I'm just saying 51 itself is equal to 36 base 10. So, 36, one-third of 51 base 7 would be uh, 36. 3 is a digit in base 10 and base 7, right? So we can write down 36 base 10 divided by uh, 3 is equal to 12 base 10, right? This is equal to 12 in base 10. Okay. But notice, what is that? 12 is 7 plus 5, right? So you can write this as, uh, okay, 7 plus 5. So that would be 1, 5. In base 7, okay? which is the answer we're seeking right here. Because okay. again, it's intimated that 51 is a base 7 number, right? So one, we, we do the calculations actually in base 10 after we expand this, right? And then 36 divided by uh, 3 is certainly 12 base 10. But this would, 1, 5 base 7 is really equal to 7 plus 5, right? If you expand it out. which is certainly 12 base 10. It's a little, little the notation's slightly awkward, but anyway, that is the solution, folks. Uh, 
one third of 51 under this original uh, supposition would be, uh, what do I got, 15? Yeah, okay, that's equal to 15. Of course, it's weird looking in it because you're, uh, but this is, it, it encompasses the fact that our base is uh, seven. Okay, that's all.